Hello, this is your friendly nurse and health coach, and I'm coming to you today on the benefits of counseling with eating the acai berries. Awesome benefit of counseling. Antioxidant effect of eating acai berries. One of the main effects is the cancer. Cancer is, as we have discussed before, is when your cells just out of just just for some reason or another start dividing, uh, just start dividing, 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 getting abnormal, not able to function in its normal capacity that it's been put to do. It's divides and divides and, and, and destroy the body tissues and goes in the body and cause tumors in the body and go in the blood and cause cancer of the blood. You got carcinoma. Uh, we're dealing with uh, carcinoma. That's malignant uh, cancer. Destroying the tissues of the body. So that's number one. Um, benefit of acai berries is the antioxidant benefits. Antibiotics when those free radicals which is uncharged molecules of, of atom, not enough electrons, protons, and the neutrons to fully charge that atom to sustain life for your body. It's an uncharged molecule which is free radicals. Uh, in your body, it goes and causes a lot of damage to your body, tissues, and that's how uh, your body cells become uncharged, and with those free radicals can cause cancer. And these acai berries goes in as an antioxidant and destroys those free radicals, free radicals out of your body and uh, destroy um, the damage. Uh, that have been taking place and go and try to heal again those um, uh, cells that it have um, damaged. And uh, that's one great benefit of uh, cancer that uh, acai berries are good for uh, anything that can help. You would cancel conditions of uh, uh, benefit you of any kind or uh, prevent you from them cancer cells. See, uh, cancer enter all our bodies every day, but it's what we put in our body and how we treat our body, surroundings, our atmosphere, uh, that's going to determine whether that cancer cell survive or just die out of our body. So the more uh, beneficial things that we can do or eat for our body will help us to overcome the cancer when it attacks our body in any way. So acai berries are excellent for um, cancer in our body. The next major way that it helps cancer is the chemical induced bladder cancer. It helps that anytime you come in with those chemicals uh, that are toxic, they're going to increase the cancer in your body. That's why they got the um, gluten-free stuff, the organic stuff, now without the chemicals, because chemicals is a big thing with cancer now. It always have been, but they find out that more and more that it helped cancer advance. So if you got any kind of cancer problem, you do not, I repeat, you do not need any chemicals. Uh, so you need to use organic uh, foods, organic meats, 
organic growing stuff that they hadn't put a lot of chemicals, all those chemicals in it. And most of the foods you go buy just off the market, and uh, they all got a lot of chemicals in it. So you got to look for the organic. It's all about organic, organic, organic with cancer. And now uh, uh, I see. Acai fruit helps a lot with that uh, cancer. Uh, another thing, it stops the cell carcinoma. That's the malignant cancer that they don't have a cure, really a cure for. I see berries stops the cancer from advancing in your body. And for multiplying, that's how cancer advances, it multiplies and goes all in the other parts of your body. Tissues, organs, form into tumors. Those, all those cells, just divide and divide and divide and divide and divide and just just you know, broke up and uh, and just divided and, and sick cells that's what we call in your body. So I I, I see um, berries the berries stop them from being multiplying in your body. That's how beneficial this. I say berries uh, for cancer. Also, um, I see our berries stops the DNA damage that it have done to you. DNA damage is very, very important because it tends to see to run into your um, children and your grandchildren, you know, to your families through your DNA. Your DNA is going to affect your eyes, your hearing, your nose, your mouth, your blood cells, your everything in your body. The DNA affects how it's going to uh, progress, how it's going to develop. So it reduces any damage that has been done to your DNA. These aside berries, tumor cell, it reduce the damage done to the tumor cells and, and destroy some of those cancer cells. That's what you want the cancer cells to do, to, to die. That's what they try to do when they do the chemo and radiation, all they kill the cancer cells. Other than that, they just sick and just lingering. That's cancer. And they're going to mess around and mess up all the tissues around them, all the tumor cells around them. That's why with cancer, you got to be very active. You can't just stay lying around in the bed and have my pity party and all off of it. Because those, hey, you're giving room to those cells to continue to be sick too. And they lingo and just go to from one place to another in your body and cause more malignancy, more death in your body of the other tissues and organs around you and eventually you yourself. And uh, they get into your uh, lymph nodes. They going all over, definitely going all over your body. That's why it's good to exercise and move around and lift your arms up and turn around and Move your limbs about. If you can't walk and move about, just raise your arm up. Raise your arm up uh, over your head and over your head like that there, and keep exercising and moving around so it won't, though it, it won't get in your lymph nodes. These sick cancer cells. Another benefit aside, berries will help with uh, the. Uh, uh, proliferated, put, put, what we call proliferated, uh, rapid increase of numbers 
these cells are going into. Just multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. Uh, they help with that acai berries. But that exercise is going to be one of the most beneficial part of you overcoming that cancer. Moving around. Don't stay in one place. Drinking a lot of water. Three fourths of your brain is water, three fourths of your body is water. And the exercise, exercise, exercise. A lot of people just want to sit right there and look at TV all day. You got to need to exercise at least 30 minutes a day. Move around. I told you I had an uncle that lived to be 113 years old. He walked all his life from city to city. At 113 years old, he just had a stroke and died just like that. Didn't suffer nothing. But he was doing fine all the way through that 113 years. Another benefit. Uh, the acai berries have a cancer. It affects every risk of your metabolic disorders of cancer. You got a lot of metabolic disorders of cancer. This is a condition that disrupts the body process of distributing fats and other carbohydrates throughout your body. And your body needs some fats, some carbohydrates, and, 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 and distribute them in different places in your body. And the cancer affects it. But I saw you berries come in there and said, no, uh-uh, you can't. I got to stop you from doing what you got to do. You came in to disrupt, disrupt the normal process of the body, the metabolic part of the body, of, of carrying these fats and carbohydrates throughout the body and doing what it's supposed to do in the different organs and system in the body. So I come to correct this, that side berry. That's how powerful that side berry is. So with cancer, you got to continuously eat these ber berries, but eat them in proportions. Drink a lot of water with them. Wash them on down and let that side berries do what it needs to do to your body. Because cancer is attacking a lot of people today. And I tell everybody, you got to have a alkaline body. Your body got to be in an alkaline state for cancer to be destroyed out of your body also. And that's one of the things that I, I, these um, berries help you get into that state of alkaline. But not too much of them. Uh, only, only, only 100 grams to 200 grams a day of these acai berries that you need. And you can help destroy some of those cancer problems that's going on in your body. But acai berries, you don't want to be acidic. Acidic is anything below 7.2 pH wise is acidic. So you want it to be 7.2 or above in the alkaline state. So you won't be sick. Alkaline water is awesome for alkaline um, state of cancer not to continue to invade your body and metastasize in all part of your body. High alkaline diet, you want everybody need to stay on to keep their body from getting sick overall. High alkaline foods, squash, uh, lettuce, green vegetables, leafy vegetables, that's everything that's in the original state will be alkaline. As I told you before, when you walk in the store, everything around the walls of the store in the original state is alkaline. Everything in the middle of the store is acidic. It's going to bring some death to your body eventually. So you want, if you want to help your cancer grow, you're going to eat all that noodles, refined food, refined sugars, starches in the middle of the store. 
you looking for death, more death in your life. But if you want life in your body, eat around the edges of the store, the fruits, the vegetables, the nuts, the seeds, the foods just like, 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 they, like they are, but eat the organic meats without the chemicals. As, as some people be eating everything, 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 and, and 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 I made a mistake of it one time when I when I had cancer. I was eat, just eating a lot of vegetables, vegetables and broccoli and all, but I was eating the organic. So I was feeding myself with more chemicals, and 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 that was making the situation worse. Until I came to the knowledge of wait a minute, I don't need these chemicals in there. I got to eat organic. And I started eating the organic. And the foods in the original state, then I saw improvement and the cancer left without all that chemo and all that stuff. The natural way of doing things cucumbers, salaries, parsley, uh, lemons, olive oils, all these are, are alkaline foods that can help. Alkaline your body so those cancer cells can help die. Yeah, give that uh, acai berries some help there. Brussels sprites, uh, broccoli, but organic, organic without the chemicals. Remember, it say help chemical induced bladder cancer. Anything that have the chemicals have attacked. That caused that cancer, that cybers will help out. We hope you will live a healthy and long life. And we love you. We'll be coming with the QA soon on our cyberries. And any questions, please send them to me. Nurse Colada at gmail.com.